Golfers Dean with GolfAllYear.com and today I want to do just a quick video on practicing with the OptiShot. Uh, one of my goals is to break 80 and in order to do that I need to be able to hit 75% of the par 3 greens and so this is a great way to practice that very quickly. You can do it in, in no time at all uh, and it really focuses you on hitting the green um, with your irons and so uh, this is a par three uh, course that I like to just play and, and see if I can get it onto the green and move on. Uh, so let's take a look at what I like to do on um, using the par three uh, on OptiShot. All right, golfers. So sometimes practice can, um, with the OptiShot, can be uh, a little stagnant. And so I like to mix it up. I like to also play uh, a par three uh, round. Here is how I do it, and I can play this uh, quickly in uh, you know a matter of uh, half an hour or so, and really get in um, some good practice, especially with my irons, uh, and to really see if I'm hitting the ball well or not. Uh, I can do this, and so here's how I go about uh, playing the par three courses. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and click on play and practice. Uh, then you want to go to manage players and, and when you go to manage players click on your person uh, Your character and then you're gonna look at and change the tee box to par 3 courses And so uh, you can see here. I've got it switched to par 3 tees click save click back and then go play a game and so now uh, everything is going to be set up so that I can play a full round or even nine holes on the front or the back uh, any way I want to and what it's going to do is it's going to set all the tees at par three range and so I'll play all the holes uh, but they'll be in a par three range so let's play uh, the front nine here I'll click play and I'll show you what I'm going to do uh, to speed things up um, one of the things that I've done is I've set the settings uh, on OptiShot um, let me get in here and get right to the settings here. You can go down to, or excuse me, where am I going here? I'm going over here to settings and options, uh, and then go to game rules. What I've done is I've set the auto putt within a set distance. I've set it to 90 feet, so that will be any time it is on the green in any way, shape, or form for the most part, uh, it will automatically auto putt. So it'll uh, kind of guesstimate uh, what you would get in terms of putting. So sometimes uh, you'll get, a, you know, if you're within 10 feet or so, you'll you'll get a birdie. Uh, sometimes you may just get a par. Sometimes they'll have you three putt. It's kind of random, but it's kind of fun to, to just play with it. Um, and then what I will do is I'll click save there. And so what I'm also going to do is if I miss the green, I'm going to go down here and put pick up ball. And it'll give me this little uh, screen and I will just enter a four and move on. So it'll speed up play. I'll give myself a bogey and move on to the next hole. And, and so I'm going to see how many birdies I can get, see if I can get it close enough to get a birdie and so forth and, and kind of compete with myself here on the round. Okay, so let's uh, see how that goes. All right, there you have a very simple way to practice your irons and your par threes. It changes it up for you. Uh, it is a great way to compete with yourself. I like to try and get 75% uh, greens in regulation and to see how many birdies I can get. Um, I had one uh, birdie in that, that uh, test and it hit only 66% of my greens. So there's something that I can work on. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, maybe try it out and let me know. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment down below. I'm really here to, to try to help everyone get better at golf uh, using uh, budget simulators. 
And so uh, let me know what you think or if you have any ideas on what you'd like me to uh, post as a video. So thanks a lot.